This is question number six on the chapter 13 um, discussion questions. It says, polonium is the one element that has a primitive cubic lattice structure. Its density is 9.4 grams per cubic centimeter. What is its atomic radius? Okay, so what we want to do is find the atomic radius. And we're given, first of all, that it's polonium. Okay, and that it has a primitive cubic lattice structure. What is primitive cubic? That's just the simplest of the cubic lattice structures where you have a, uh, an atom of polonium at each of the uh, lattice points along a cube, uh, which is just your, uh, you know, just a standard cube. You have one in each of the corners of the cube. All right. So this is the primitive cubic um, or PC as it is abbreviated lattice structure which polonium occupies. Okay. So now we're looking at this density. What does the density uh, give us that we can find the radius from? Okay. So if we look at these atoms, I'm showing them as though there's a lot of space here between them. But in reality, if we look at this, um, it would look more like this, okay? Where the radius of each of these atoms, okay, comes right into the center of the cube, right? So in other words, if we have the dimensions of the unit cell, that's what this cube is that I've drawn, if we have the dimensions of this unit cell, that will straightforward uh, in a straightforward way give us the radius of the polonium atoms okay because this is just the diameter of one atom you divide that into two parts and that gives you the radius okay so you'll notice this is mass per unit volume okay here's our unit of volume and we know there's how many polonium atoms inside this unit cell well there's one eighth of an atom in each um, corner, okay, one eighth of an atom per corner, and there are eight corners, so that gives us one atom, um, and uh, you know, I could say eight corners per unit cell, so there's one atom per unit cell, okay. So, <clears throat> one atom in here, how much does one atom of polonium weigh? All right, to answer that, of course, we can go to the periodic table. And if you look here, here is polonium, element number 84, 208.98, okay? The units of this number are an AMU per atom, okay, or uh, we could say that's AMU per atom or 208.98 grams per mole. All right. So while I want the mass of the one atom, because that's my unit cell from which I'm going to get the radius, I want that expressed in terms of grams, because that will cancel with my uh, density over here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the 208.98 grams per mole of polonium and then I will just uh, take that value and divide it by the number of atoms per mole which is Avogadro's number. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per one mole of polonium. Okay, so now my moles cancel and I have, uh, when I calculate this, it'll give me grams per atom of polonium. Okay, so I can say, all right, well, I know that I have one atom per unit cell. All right, so now my atoms will cancel and I'll have the mass within my unit cell. Okay. And um, using the density that's given 
here, 9.4 grams per cubic centimeter. I will uh, cancel these grams, 9.4 grams per uh, cubic centimeter. All right. So now my grams will cancel and I'm left with cubic centimeters per unit cell. All right. Now I'm ready to find the dimensions of this unit cell. Cubic centimeters is volume, so that would be the volume of this unit cell. Of course, this is a very tiny number because we're talking about a single atom within the cell, so it's, uh, it's a very small cell. Um, but what I want to find is just one side. I want to find length. So how do I get from volume to length? I take the cube root. All right. This is a cube. All the sides are the same. Length, width, height. Uh, length times width times the height gives me the volume. So if I take the cube root of that volume, um, it will give me the length in centimeters. All right. So first let me uh, go ahead and calculate this value, and then I'll take the cube root of that. All right. So we have... Um, 208.98 divided by 6.022 oops divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd okay and then uh, one atom per unit cell I don't need to type that one in but I can put in my divided by 9.4 grams per cubic centimeter and that gives me an answer of 3.69 times 10 to the negative 23rd. Okay, so here I'll have 3.69 times 10 to the negative 23rd. And this is cubic centimeters per unit cell. Alright, so now I'm going to take this value and take the cube root. Okay, so the one way you can can do that if you don't have a cube root button on your calculator, you can simply uh, raise it to the power of one third. Okay, you remember from uh, algebra that uh, when you raise something to a fractional power that's the same as taking the uh, the root um, of that value and so if you raise it to the one-third you get this small number here um, and that'll be 3.33 if I round this times 10 to the negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 okay 3.33 times 10 to the negative eighth, and what are my units now? Well, it was cubic centimeters, but when you take the cube root of centimeters cubed, that cancels, and I'm left just with centimeters. Okay, so this is the length of one side of my cube. All right, because I took that volume of the unit cell, and I took the cube root of it, that gave me the length of one side. So that is the diameter of my polonium atom, all right? Because I have twice the two radii there. Um, so if that's the diameter, then how do I get the radius? I divide by two, all right? Now I'm gonna put this in units that are more typical for um, atomic radii, which is picometers. Um, and to find the conversion factor there, um, I know that one centimeter equals one times ten to the negative two meters, and one picometer is one times ten to the negative twelfth meters. So I have a difference of ten to the tenth. Um, in other words, there's ten to the tenth picometers per centimeter. Okay, well, I could say that the other way around. Um, there are 10 to the minus 10th centimeters in one picometer. Either way, um, 
I'm just going to say in one centimeter there are 10 to the tenth picometers. And now when I calculate this, I'm going to mo move uh, the decimal 10 places to the right from here, which is 8 places over, so it'll end up moving it twice to the right. And that'll be 333 divided by 2, of course. Um, so this will be uh, 166 approximately um, picometers. Right. This is the uh, radius of a uh, polonium atom.